Now, let's move on to something else. I want to uh, remind everybody about an Australian journalist who was pretty prominent back in his days here. In fact, uh, the ABC he worked for BuzzFeed in Australia, but the ABC gave him a fair bit of prominence. Have a look. Talking pictures this week with the political editor of BuzzFeed Australia, the one and only Mark Stefano. A very warm welcome back. Thanks, Bowers. How are you? I'm, I'm OK. You're OK. The first week's done. Yeah, seven down and only um, 48 to go. It's just so long. <laughs> Well, Mark De Stefano was working for Financial Times in London. Last week, a big controversy came out, came up with suggestion that he had logged into a Zoom call, a meeting of other journalists at rival newspapers, and reported on what they were being told about staff cuts and pay cuts. It was pretty ugly stuff. He stood down while there was an investigation. And then, just over the weekend, this tweet came out from Mark De Stefano saying, Hi, letting everyone know today was my last day at the Financial Times. This afternoon I offered my resignation. Thank you to everyone who's given support. I'm now going to take some time away and log off. So that's the end of him for a while. I mean, a pretty embarrassing departure, especially when you think just a few weeks back uh, he tweeted this about journalism, uh, uh, just uh, unrelated to this, of course. It's actually always about ethics in journalism. There's some irony in that one, Jane. <laughs> Mm, I bet he's regretting that tweet. What he did, it seems to me, if, if what is reported is true, it seems to me to be absolutely despicable. But in reading the story in The Australian and, and talking about the people who are backing him up, his friends, one of the things that I'm seeing more and more of is that, you know, people... People keep joining sides. I don't know, I look back on a world 10, 15 years ago where when someone did something wrong, you'd call it out. Even if you're their, exactly. their friend, you go, this isn't on. And actually that goes back to the Twiggy point and how he got away with what he got away with the first time because no one called it out. Yep. So I'm seeing it more and more everywhere I look. You know, that's how I feel about Mark Stefano and what he's done. Well, allegedly. this is the point. I mean, Mark Stefano, uh, Kel, uh, quite rightly, as I recall, certainly should have called out those News Corp newspapers back in the day. News of the World now shut down for this hacking that went on. That was despicable. He's essentially, allegedly, hacked in to a private meeting of uh, another organisation to report it. It's the same sin, and you've got to call it out no matter who does it. Well, as it happens, I have here the appropriate paragraph from the Journalist Code of Ethics. So, it says journalists will use only fair reasonable and honest means to obtain material and you will identify yourself and your employer. Do you think he came onto that Zoom call and said, uh, by the way, I popped in and I'm representing someone else and I'm covering your... No, I don't think he did. So this is the man who waves the ethics uh, and, and then breaks the most basic part of the code. Of course it's unethical. How any journalist could ever defend that sort of behaviour is ridiculous. Hidden cameras, hidden microphones are unethical. That's, what, that's basic to the journalist code of ethics. Sorry, this bloke is a dud. Yeah, it's shocking stuff. He was the first to bag news organisations, I don't know, like Sky News, Rebecca, or News Corp. Yes, I'll, all right, we'll just do... I want to go on to something else. I want to get a tweet up here from the ALP. I showed this on my uh, weeknight show last week, the Kenny Report, the ALP tweeting out about the ABC. Now, how about this? Through every crisis, our ABC has always been there. So to the ABC and everyone who works there, thank you, says the Australian Labor Party, Rebecca. I mean, the ALP journos are the only ones who don't have to worry about their job. And guess what? They're reporting news like all journos are. Yes, I, I find this, uh, I mean, it's appalling. And uh, I think if you have a look at the comments underneath that tweet, uh, all of the people who read it were pretty angry. And uh, uh, the ABC honestly seems to have moved so narrowly, its focus has become so narrow, that people are turning everywhere else, turning to Sky and uh, turning to uh, other uh, television sources and to... YouTube and so forth, anywhere to try and get something that's not so narrow and biased as the ABC. Um, so uh, I just, 
think that uh, they really should actually take a pay cut. All of the rest of us are suffering. Uh, yes. Most see a lot of people have lost their jobs and it would be a good thing to see the ABC journalists have their salaries pegged. So while the rest of the media, as we can see, are having to cut journalists' jobs, why can't they at the very least take a pay cut? Yeah, well, I say thank you to the journalists uh, who have uh, lost their job uh, through this and it's uh, hastened the... Uh, a hasten job cuts in many media organisations and I just hope that they can get back into work and get back on to reporting as, as soon as possible.